Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I have Romeo dog hairs all over me. It's a day off. It's Saturday. I just wanted to come on really quickly. If you are finding yourself doing techniques to manifest something, usually everybody wants to manifest their specific person. You don't want to only be focused on manifesting your specific person. You also want to be focused on being the most powerful version of yourself, having the health, the career, the success, the finances, the lifestyle that you want deep down in your heart and soul, not what someone else says that you can have, okay? But balance, I think, is a very big part of this because sometimes people go way too much in, in another direction instead of just going within and trusting what's in their heart and soul. When I say things like, when it, as it relates to you and your specific person, if something is deep down in your heart and soul, then you can trust in that. And then on other videos, I talk about how when everything is ego-based, you know, I, I'm not focusing so much on that form of manifestation because it's usually more shallow. So then some of you guys are reacting to that and maybe it's triggering you a little bit, maybe because deep down in your heart and soul, you don't really believe in yourself as being the creator and I think that's what would be at the heart of that kind of question. Like, I thought that we were limitless. Why are you talking about we can only manifest from our soul? I think where the problem lies here is that you're not actually in your power. And I, and I think once you actually understand that your reality is truly reflecting all of you, it's like a giant body scan, but instead of just scanning your body, it's scanning all of you, your subconscious beliefs, programming, and your conscious thoughts and beliefs. So everything from this cumulative version of you that was shaped by your 3D reality. It's just like, like the chameleon. You know how the chameleon can be walking a lot of, uh, along a branch and they can be on the brown part of the bark and they turn brown. But then if they hop on top of a green leaf, they'll turn green. Think about it in the reverse. <laughs> Think about it that your 3D reality is like the chameleon constantly shifting, morphing, and changing as you shift, morph, and change through your beliefs. So if you're constantly wavering on something, then your 3D reality is going to show you the wavering, right? Does that make sense? That just like came into my head, so I, I hope it made sense. Anyway, when you are actually doing things from being the creator of your reality. And God and you are not mutually exclusive. There is oneness between you and your creator. You are the creator. You're also the creation. We are all instruments of God. That doesn't mean that we're saying God is outside of us, that God is a separate entity outside of us. Even that belief system, I believe, should be in balance. But Think however you want to think, because at the end of the day, it actually doesn't matter. What does matter is however you need to move into trust of what is truly pulling you in your heart and soul. The reason why I like to differentiate between ego and soul is because sometimes when you're thinking of things, whether it be related to yourself, yourself with these kinds of people, yourself with your specific person, yourself with career, money, health, your ego tends to have smaller ideas. When you are only doing things from a shallow based ego desire, you are putting limits on yourself and you are actually limitless. So all sorts of third parties that appear to be in competition with you, that you think that your specific person wants more than you, that if your specific person is choosing to do this and that instead of spending time with you. So you have to go beyond that limit that you've put on yourself and see that there is no competition. You're always loved. I'm always loved. I'm always adored. I'm always a priority. I'm always chosen. And again, between you and God and the I am consciousness, there is no separation ever. The only time you create separation is when you create the division and you create thinking of God as being outside of you. But again, you and God, it's not a mutually exclusive thing. So from my perspective, I am that, I am consciousness, but Kim is a physical personality 
that the I am consciousness is creating amazing things through. You want to step into the power and you also want to relinquish power and go into trust that you know that your end exists or you simply wouldn't desire it because all of creation is already done. But infinite possibilities do exist at any given moment. So remember, your 3D reality is like a chameleon and it's morphing and changing according to you. So if some of you guys are like, why does this happen so fast? And then this happened so fast. And then my person came back and then boom, they left again. When they came back, it's possible that you went into your fear again and you were worried or thinking that when is it going to happen again? And so then just like it just your 3D reality has no choice but to show you and reflect that back to you. And in this case, through your divine messenger, which, which is your true love, your other half, your mirror soul. If it's not that deep and it's just a specific person who you want to get to know and to date, of course, you still can select and choose that the two of you guys are dating each other more and more, that you guys are communicating more and more, that you're receiving more and more evidence in your reality that they're texting you more, that they're wanting to connect to you more and more, that when you guys are together, you make them feel wonderful, that you're like a breath of fresh air, that now you guys are seeing each other, like you can progress it. Now you guys are seeing each other. It's going from one, one time to two times to three times a week. You can do that. Okay. I have learned that when I go deep into that trust and into surrender and allowing, I know that everything that needs to happen is literally happening right now for everything that I'm wanting to manifest. If something isn't a deep desire for me, then it ends up eventually fading away. And that's okay too. You know how many times I think I have like a million one little ideas that always come into my head of different inventions, different businesses, different this, different that. All of these things, when it's really deep within me, is the I am consciousness, consciousness wanting to create through this instrument, this vehicle that's Kim. So I don't question or doubt myself or my abilities. Somebody recently asked, I think it was last night or this morning, about the difference, something around limerence. How can, can you address limerence that comes up lately in the 3D psychology realm with manifesting NSP? So the first thing, my coach, the coach within me, the flag went up and said, why would you be listening to 3D psychology stuff? What would even inspire you to be listening to that and watching YouTube videos on that subject? So there's something within you that's not in trust, right? And so then you had inspired action to seek and to seek evidence of, am I doing the right thing? What is happening? What am I feeling? So you went outside of yourself. So the first thing that I see with that question is that you actually don't know your power. You, you aren't aware that you are the I am. That's in everything, that everything is you. So that would be the first step that you do. You guys are seeing that the first step you need to do is get your specific person back, but that's actually not the first step because when people are trying to do that and not realizing who they truly are in their reality, not having faith and trust in God and the God within them and not trusting in their heart and soul that their end exists. This is why a lot of you guys are, are experiencing the things that you're experiencing, the wavering. As it is, when you're focusing on self-concept and knowing your power, life is still going to have its challenges. I think sometimes there are misunderstandings that life is going to somehow become absolutely perfect. And I'm not going to put a limiting belief on you that life can't become perfect. But what you really want to realize is that you use your 3D life to become who you want to be. You use your 3D reality instead of your 3D reality using you. So life will have ebbs and flows and will have challenges. And they kind of just end up bouncing off of you. And they'll just kind of roll off once you've become, you know, you've really stepped in your power. Okay. This was just a quick public service announcement. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, but I'm just coming on to support you guys through this, not to put limits on yourself and to realize that you and God are one. You're in union with God. If you are in fear, then you are in union with not God. <laughs> You're in union with your ego. Okay.
you are always, you are literally never separate from everybody. You are not alone at all. Okay. Th that way of thinking can actually cause depression in some people. You want to just get in harmony, in alignment, in agreement, and in union with the God within you. That's why I named the channel Core Union. So again, you and God, it's not a mutually exclusive thing. You are the creator of your reality, but everyone in your reality is also divine. They are real people. They're not puppets. They're not robots. The people that are in your reality, like close to you, I'm not talking about global issues. I'm not talking about politics or things like that. But the people who are actually in your 3D reality that you're having these experiences with, that you're bumping up against these people, they are divine. The thing is that you're not seeing the perfection within you and you're not seeing the perfection in them because you are holding on to the stories that you had within you that was projected onto them. So you will perceive and receive different aspects of your divine messengers in your reality, depending on where your belief system is. I love you so much. I pray that this video helped shift you guys, empower you guys. Please do affirm down below that you know that you are one with your entire 3D reality. And I will see you guys soon. I love you so much. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come, nothing can come between us.